I'm playing Piglin again today. We're doing a challenge called Echoing Chaos today. So we'll have Echo Chamber and then a Relic of my choice, which is going to be Prime Rod of Frost, which used to be Ice Rod. Starting with Orboros and Echo Orb and then a Mirror Orb. And then we have to get rid of the stone. We're going to go blind. We can grab Relics, but we can't grab Orbs and we can't we can obtain more orbs though so if orbs are from events we can obtain them so everything you should know now let's go continue on it's going to be very easy definitely i, I agree with you though that it's going to be very very easy this is it's not too hard especially with Orboros being that you're doing so much damage. Oh, Crystal 10, you actually start with two orbs. So, or two stones. So I need to get rid of both of these stones. All right, so we'll get rid of both of these stones as fast as we possibly can. And then I also need to upgrade the Orboros because it's just, not going to do much unless I upgrade it. And we're going to go for elites. Elites are going to be easy on Crucible 10. They don't become a problem until Crucible, what, 15, 12. Yeah, 12. I am fine with finding elites on Crucible 15. Go to. But on Crucible 10, definitely, definitely. Fighting elites is good. Are. Oh, you're not allowed to get more orbs. I would have definitely taken a dock orb with me. Uh, yeah, I can't take orbs, but a Crucible 10, I, I can beat it easily without. Dock orb. Dock orb I don't need right now. This is not going to be hard with uh, the current build setup at all. And then, yeah, dock orb is good. Dock orb is great. It is definitely a great orb and for healing. I used to avoid that orb like crazy when I first started playing. I still kind of avoid it. It's, it's okay. Like, sadly, I have to use the stone because otherwise the echo orb is not going to do anything. And then we can do that and we did some damage and we killed everything, actually. Yeah, definitely dock orb would have been helpful if I grabbed it. But I can't grab it. It was not part of the challenge to grab that. That uh, one of my Discord members gave me called. Their name is Terrible on Discord. But <laughs> that's pretty cool. And then let's go with this. And Nosferatu is also really good. If you have. A right build for it you it can screw you over in the wrong build but it can really help in the right build yeah oh i have two stones because of the duplication ah i wasn't even paying attention to that the mirror orb all right we just need to get some healing some type of healing relic which would be popping corn or probably cookie. Cookie is probably the best healing orb I could probably get. But then I need also more rel more refresh opportunities. All right, so we get this and then we'll do that and we kill it. Do we? No, we don't. Yeah, we don't. All right, so it's fine. We we'll definitely kill it now. Uh, well, we didn't kill it there. That's fine. And now we kill it. 
And now we can upgrade the Echo Orb to the max. And now we have all of our orbs upgraded. And we got Overwhammer. So Overwhammer will be good. And this is going to be ridiculous now. This is way OP of a build already. All right, so you cannot do that. If I'm able to pick up a relic that gives me more refreshes, I always get the Morbid relic. Morbid's great. Morbid's awesome. That was one of the more recent relics that they added, but that is definitely, definitely a good, good relic. I, I do like it a lot. I was happy with them adding that one. Yes, let's heal up. I, w I wanted to fight the elite, though. They did not give me the elite. That's okay. We we'll take uh, super boots because I don't have any healing currently. So super boots will be helpful. Mmm, bramble. Okay, so I'm going to shake the tree and get the egg. I can obtain relics, but I can't buy them. They're orbs. I can obtain orbs. I can't buy them. That's I was switching around my language there. Relics I can buy if I want, but I don't really care about buying them right now. It's, it, I don't need to, that's the thing. I need to more remove the stone and there's no shot, there was no shops on here except for on that path. If I went on that path, I would have done it, but I was not paying attention to that path. I never really look at the map and <laughs> the bottom. I need to not do that. Uh, in modding, you can actually choose your own path oh you can get orbs just not buy them yeah all right so skip and then we can get the chest and we'll do this and this is not my challenge i would do way harder of a challenge like when i do challenges I, sh I normally lose because I make them way too hard or I make them too ridiculously easy and just to have fun. Like I was doing one that you could stack up so much uh, onto pegs that with Glorious Suffering, Glorious Suffering being awesome with that build and I had about a thousand on a couple pegs and it was crazy. It was very, very crazy. And then if you hit too far of a number, it will actually roll into negatives because it goes above the calculation or something like that. I don't know exactly how that works, but I do know that when you do too much damage, it will go into the negatives and you definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> I know that they could fix that, but they have not fixed it. And I think they've not fixed that on purpose. If they're not fixing it already. If you're getting that high, too high of damage, you're probably pretty much breaking the game. <laughs> Like, you should not be getting that far of damage. I had so many. I had to have so many relics just to do that. Alright, we can do that. And then... I know that, like, I think Alien Rock was his name. Did that in a legit run. One time I shot in... One time I one-shot the final boss. Yeah, you can definitely do that with some builds. Like, 
Orboros build, you can do that. You can do that with some other builds. If you're just, cr like, cranking up the damage with some orbs, you can do that easily. I'm going to go connect me, right? But definitely can do one-shotting the final boss. Uh, that is a very, very possible one-shot the final boss. Unless it's the cubes and you have a... Uh, Orbalus build. An Orbalus build would not do anything. This is not going to do anything. And I'm going to lose the cake here because or the egg here. I'm not going to be able to use that. That's sad. Yeah. Connect me right for sure. Yeah, definitely connect me right. Connect me right is definitely, definitely one of the best relics in the game and then there are some really good ones otherwise too like boss relics the connect me right is my favorite but is it my favorite or is it electromagnetic Electromagnetic is also really good. Mor morbid is also really good. That's one of my favorites, but it's it's only good if I can get more refreshes. If I take it and don't have any refreshes, then it would be bad. There are times when it works again. So like when. There are those black holes or whatever they are. Yeah, those black holes definitely, definitely work against you with electromagnetic and connect me right and stuff. Especially if the black hole is right where the refresh is and then, or refresh or the crit is with electromagnetic will just go straight there and then like, boom, it goes into the black hole. <laughs> Yeah, Glorious Suffering is also really good. There's a lot of good boss relics. Boss relics are supposed to be good for a reason. That's why they're boss relics. And then the rare relics are also really good. And then I keep on trying to upgrade that. I need to get rid of that. Where's the shop at? There's a shop on all the way at the bottom over here. I don't like the stone. I don't want this stone. It's not helping me. It's more hindering me right now. It's a hindrance. And that is okay. Let me read your message. Oh. Yes. I already read that. I said. Okay, cool. But I definitely agree that it can be a hindrance. So this, a lot of stuff can be a hindrance. Like, if you take the one that damages you, I never took that one really until more recently. It's good. It does damage you. But if you have popping corn, then you can probably, you can pretty much isolate the damage, uh, offset the damage that you're going to be taking. All right, so we'll go heal. And then we'll go to the left. I guess to the right. That sucks. And I'm doing some damage. It's going up. And so I've never used that one. Yeah, that that one. Some people kind of avoid it because it it. It says you take damage. And so, I, I was avoiding that one for a long time there, too. And some relics, I learned the hard way how bad they are. Like, the one that only lets you shoot four ways. The one that shoots four ways is bad, yes. It can be awful. I can play with that one. And... It has cost me a couple runs before, 
but I have won a lot of runs. Uh, most of the runs I take that one, I actually win. But it's just taking that one can really, really mess up a run because you can get seriously, seriously injured if it is going in the wrong direction, the aimer. Yeah, I definitely agree with that statement. There's a lot of stuff in Peglin that you're going to learn and stuff while playing that it's just, you're going to have to learn it and like, If you probably have already learned that the the slime boss is really tough. The slime boss is tough, really, really tough, especially in the higher crease bulls. A lot of people hate the slime boss. I oh I don't I don't mind it. You can get around it. Brambling it is good. And there's some other status effects. If you have a bold orb, actually bold orb's pretty good for it too, because you can actually hit a lot of pegs with bold orb. All right, well, I can't upgrade that. Why do I keep on trying? The red slime? The red slime, yes. Definitely the red slime is bad. The red slime is not good. And I want cookie. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Cookie. And then we're not going for the elite, I guess. Going this way. And then I... Is the first area? Yeah. The first area, I find him pretty easy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, lots of people find the complete opposite, actually. I... I find him not hard at all. Like, not as hard as others do. Not as easy as the mole. Yeah, definitely not as easy as the mole, but still pretty easy. I think that the Minotaur to be the hardest. Yeah, the Minotaur is the hardest right now. When you're at the stage of only being at Crucible 10. Yeah, the, the Minotaur is the hardest. N that's all I'll say. Y you'll hate another one eventually. As you continue playing. Well, I'll do Sand Arrows. And I'll do Health. But... Keep on playing. It's, it's, it's a pretty cool game. Crucible 15 is going to be a pain in the butt. But next week is a big update. And so they might actually add more Crucible levels. They might actually add the last few Crucible levels. I don't know. They're going to go up to 20, I think. I think that will be the max for Crucible levels. They might go above that, but... Right now, that's how the circle is built. It's built up to 20. And... Crucible 15 is the max right now. And they might go up... I don't know. Uh, I'll, we'll have to see in the new update that's coming out next week. Which... I'm really, really looking forward to. The new update is going to be amazing. It's going to be so good. So... It's a really, really good update. It will add so much stuff. It will add new enemies, a lot of new enemies. And then there's going to be classes, which your regular class, you start with the Pingalotution relic uh, called Pingalotution, of course. And then you also get battle rewards and chests contain additional options to choose from. But without that, it will the other people will actually have a different relic that they start with. And they might start with other orbs, too. They will definitely start with other orbs. Like, the, I think there's a doctor one, if I'm not mistaken. That will probably start with a doc orb. Or something like that. 
if that if they do start with Nocturne, do I'll be like, I'm never playing this character. <laughs> no, I'll play it, but I just get rid of that orb. <laughs> uh, lots of damage already. This is not hard at all. Piglin is also a really good game to just. I can play it and just chat like I don't have to really think too much like even though I'm not doing the most efficient plays all the time every single time just throwing these orbs out I'm probably good I'm probably fine right now just throwing them out and I probably should go for the refresh and I'll try to kill the wall now with the crit. And it's okay. If we can get the refresh, we're fine. We're fine. We're definitely fine. All right. We, we definitely kill it here. Oh, well, it was 16 damage off. And now we just have to wait because it connect me right. Well, went into the corner. Nice. At the perfect opportunity. All right, so yes, this is the one that I was saying that I never took before, really, because of the self-damage, but it's also really, really good, so I'm going to actually take it right now. It's really good for my build. For this build, it is good. For other builds, it might be bad. All right, doing that. And then I don't have to worry too much about their them. I don't have to worry about the sappers too much. I should probably be able to deal with those pretty easily. Uh, we don't have to heal, not yet, at least, because we have also super boots. And then also this mirror used to not have a little face like this. They just added that in the most recent patch. Preparing for the new update. They added some little tweaks to uh, some people, some little creatures. Like I think the flying little eyeballs in this cave area, that is new too, because I don't really remember that. Yes. There's a lot of stuff that's new that just got added recently that is really cool. Really, really cool. And we can take... I'm not going to do... Uh, I'll do cheese. It's not going to help. I don't want gunpowder too much. I just don't want to detonate all the bombs around me if I hit red bombs like crazy. What's the boss? It is that one. Definitely don't want gunpowder then. Yeah, definitely gunpowder would be bad. At this stage of the game. In the early stages, yeah, it would be good. It would be definitely good. And the sapper is awesome. So... Sapper Sack. Sapper Sack is definitely a great relic, too, if you get that one. That's how I won a lot of my earlier games of Piglin. Like, that's how I beat Crucible 10 the first time, I think. It's just, there gets to a point that it will fall off and become not helpful to you. You might think it also is going to hurt you. Yeah, it definitely is going to hurt you. If you have dock orbs, you can do it though. With dock orbs, you can do a lot though. And if you have more dock orbs, then you can do even more. More, more, more. Like these little eyeball look bat things. Yeah, I don't remember those being here before. I think those are more new. Yeah. I think they were just like black little bats before. So they were like placeholder 
images until they actually came up with a design for them, I guess. Which is still in early access. Piglin is still in early access. So it's still updating, still going to continue to get updates and improve upon. And now I'm getting really seriously injured because of what I did. And then we have to do that. I don't want to go for a second chess. Uh, yeah, we'll refresh the board every reload. Dang. Okay, I'm just going to go left. I'm not going to go to the right. I want to try to avoid the right. And... I'm just going to take this, the pocket watch, because then I can stack damage. We'll check behind the waterfall. Oh, nice. That's not going to help us at all, though. It's definitely not going to help. Yeah, that's, that's nice, but it's not going to help. All right, come on, get some healing. Get some healing, healing. All right, we might have messed up this run because I took the one. See? One without a lot of healing. Kind of bad, but... It's still not bad because you're also doing double damage. And so, as long as I do a d tons of damage, I should be fine. But should is also the big statement there. I should. I should. I probably won't, but I should. I probably won't. Be fine. But we never know. Never know. I wish I got that 30 healing. Kind of need it. 15, 17 healing, actually. 17 healing, I take that. That was definitely a good throw right there. This is not going to help me at all. Any of these. Uh, well, actually, that one, not bad. Yeah, we'll take this one, too. And then we can go on. I pretty much screwed myself with taking the wand, but I should still be able to accomplish this killing everything. Hopefully. And yeah, we'll just do this. Definitely, definitely like this build. It's just, it's a, it's a easy one. It definitely is on the easier side. And so that's why I also took one because I wanted to make it a little bit more challenging on me. A little bit more challenging because now I have a lot less health to work with. I just need healing. No. All right. Ooh, and this is a great fight to get. This is an awful fight, actually. <laughs> this is so bad. This is not a good fight to get. This is probably one of the worst fights in the cave. I hate this fight. But with... The build I currently have, I'm fine. We're almost one-shotting every single enemy. Right now. We're not going to one-shot the boss, for sure. Definitely not going to one-shot the boss, but... Why did I do that? That did not help me at all. Ow. Ow. Am I going to die here because of not doing enough damage? I almost died. I might die in this fight now. 
because I took a hit, massive hit there. And now this is not good. Well, that really is going to suck. Taking damage. Uh, I'm going to have to, like, really, really finish this fight soon. Within the next couple hits, like, next couple orbs, I really need to finish it. If I don't finish it in the next couple orbs, I'm going to die. It's just inevitable. So, we'll refresh. Refresh, come on. Ah, uh, it's not helping me. Come on, I needed that crit. And I'm going to need uh, much damage for this one right now. Come on. All right, we did not get a lot of damage, but we did get some damage. And then we got the crit, nice. Come on, can we get another refresh? Oh, yes. So then we can do this one and do some more damage. It's a close one. Can I pull it off? Can I pull it off? Oh, I died. I died. I took the one. All right, well, let's redo that. Round two, that did not work out correctly. That was bad. That was truly, truly bad. It was insanely bad because I took the one. If I didn't take the one, probably would have won. But it's okay. I thought I had it. We got very close. That boss can get really tough, especially at Crucible 10, because enemies have more health. Or is it bosses have more health? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Bosses or enemies have more health. It doesn't matter. Otherwise. All right, so we have to go remove the stone, which I'll go do that. And then I could obtain this. This would get us healing. Then it costs us health though. I'm not going to take it. I, that, I don't want to do that. I'm going to die with that one. I already know it. I'm gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna lose, lose this one and get a bunch of healing and then not get any healing from it. And just lose health from it. It's not going to help me. All right. This should be a completely different build this time, especially because we're starting out with Complex Kala now and we're getting rid of the stone right away. Because it's on in a direction that I can easily get to now. Uh, Orboros, yeah, let's go with Orboros upgrade. And then here, let's go to the elite and then we can remove the stone afterwards, hopefully. All right, wanna hit all those bombs. Those bombs are going to be helpful now. Yes. Bombs. Alright. Got all the bombs almost. And we killed them. So we don't have to worry about the bombs anymore. Now we have to hit that refresh, which I can't get to. Is currently in an awkward position. 
Come on. Yes, we got it. And then... I'm gonna have to use this stone. Sadly. Alright. I'm gonna go over here. And we did not hit the crit. Why not? Game, why not? Okay, you're beating me up now. That's fine. Got some healing. I can heal up. We don't got any healing, actually, but we can heal up, though. And be fine still. And then... Two times damage from low health. If I had that one last time, I would have won. We'll take that, just in case I get very, very low on health. And then we can remove the stone. And then now we don't have to worry about that anymore. We can upgrade all the orbs we currently have and then pretty much win. Upgrade. Nice. We can upgrade that to that. And then we can uh, go over here and hopefully we can upgrade or not upgrade, but get plus one merciless. Why not? It's not going to help me too much, but it will help somewhat. It will definitely help somewhat. And then we can also get refreshes move around. I'll, I'll definitely take that. If we can get duplication potion, we'll be fine be absolutely fine and then like last build wasn't as crazy as a build as i wanted it to be it was good but it wasn't as crazy of a build as i wanted it to be and that one reload i didn't because i didn't th uh discard the echo orb there that cost me the run last time that mistakes were made. Definitely, definitely mistakes were made. I was just rushing and did not pay attention to which orb it was. So, lesson learned. I make that mistake. But I think everybody makes that mistake. You throw out the wrong orbs sometimes. You can't always be efficient. Especially because now I have to throw out this one and it's not going to do much. Did something, but didn't do much. Alright. You can throw out that, get the bomb. Then we can get the next bomb. Come on, get more bombs. It's okay. Here, we'll get the crit. And I guess we're just getting the crit and that's it. And I'm going to go for the refresh now. Alright. I guess I'm going to take some damage here. That's okay. We're absolutely fine with that. And... I'm going to upgrade the Echo Orb to final form. TTG's Relic would be also really good right now. Or I can go previously thrown bombs. No, let's go with Refreshing Punch. If I can get more refreshes, then that would be definitely great. Mmm. Duplicate all your orbs. Now I have a lot of orbs. And then I have a lot of Echo Orbs now. Oh. Uh-oh. This is going to hurt. This fight. Yikes. Yeah, that was definitely not how I wanted that to go out. I definitely need to get the one that I can discard another one now. If it's the wrong placement, I could have four Echo Orbs all at once. Oh, that would be horrible. Then I would have to throw out two without doing much damage at all.
Yeah, this is not looking good right now. I hate this fight to begin with. But I, I'm going to probably discard. No, it's not going to help. Discarding right now is not going to help. We'll just kill it. We'll kill those. And then I'll heal up and we'll continue on. We should be fine now. We definitely should be okay. Alright, the slime boss is going to die. Going to definitely die. It's not going to hurt us at all. We got also very lucky with the placement for orbs right now. The echo orb is a good orb to a point because it also is a hindrance with the build I currently have. <laughs> because I have two mirror orbs and so yeah, that's not great. Do I want to go one again? I just lost the last run because of one. <laughs> uh, probably not. <laughs> uh, refresh is moving around. But do I want to go gift? Gift? Let's go gift. You haven't done it in a while. I normally avoid it because it can also be a curse. Gift can definitely be a curse if you get the wrong build and get the wrong hits for the right build, too. Alright. But we should be fine because we have Orboros, so... We're already doing tons of massive damage right now. Massive damage. And... Let's go left. Because... I want to make it tougher on me. We'll have elites on this side. So... We should be able to kill the elites. And we should be able to get the relics from the elites. It comes all down to the last boss. It really comes down to the last boss. And I hope I get the same boss as last time because I want to get my revenge on that boss right now. The boss killed me. He killed me. He killed me. So we have to get revenge. We have to. We just have to. And we're going to, we're definitely going to try. Then we can heal up. No, let's not heal up. So Echo Orb is the orb I play with the least. And I forget sometimes because of that, that you should skip it. And so that's why I lost the last run. Definitely. Remove an orb. I have to remove an orb. So I'll remove a mirror orb or we can remove an echo orb it's not going to help us if it it can still go yeah let's remove an echo orb actually and we got the elite definitely got the elite all right so now I have to throw out a useless orb. Great. Well, it's not super useless, but it's only doing 50 damage. That's hardly anything. These enemies aren't going to die with 50 damage only to them. Ah, oh, we didn't get the crit right there. That's okay. And sadly, we just hit that one and killed that one only. That's okay, too. Come on, come on, crit, crit, crit. No, no. Why didn't you do it? All right, crit. And then 50, 500. And then we can go over here and... Mistakes were made last run. 
Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. It should be easy. Like, it should not be hard. If I just discarded it, that one, that one mistake can cost you a run. One little simple mistake can cost you a run. We have to take Branch of Ember, but dang. No, we can't take it, Branch of Ember. We have to use Heavy Shaft Potion. It's too good. It's too good. We have to. We have to do that. We have to go that with that. I cannot take that relic. It's not going to help us too much. We will have blind. We will have bramble too. So, brambling it. It's not. It's blind. It's blind. Most. It mostly. It's a crutch for blind. But it's not going to help us with their current build. And so, I can't take it. I want to take it, but I, I just... That would mess up my build. That would not be good. I have to... I have to take what's good for the build. I just honestly have to take what's good. Now we're doing, like, crack damage. This is, like crazy it's a better run so this is like an example of what rng can happen like last run you can have okay rng and what you take you can get okay of damage but with like this type of build you can get seriously seriously op damage op should i remove one of these No, I, I will go on. I will risk it. We'll risk it. We're getting very lucky because we could actually have three Echo Orbs at the top. And I could skip one, use one, and then I have to then skip the other one. Otherwise. This fight super going to be super super easy super super easy yeah this is easy all right easy easy peasy easy peasy and we'll go for dungeon die is it better to use multiple orboros i've been f focusing on reload relics when i get one in a run um, uh, if you want to do reload build, you can do that. I've never really done a reload build successfully too much, but it is good to do multiple orb rows, Yes, because the damage is stacking up on every single relic afterwards. And so it keeps on stacking up after that. And it's pretty, pretty good in my opinion. We'll go dungeon die. Other than that, you can do whatever you feel like, though. Uh, but it is also, it is good, but it can be bad. Like, there is multiple situations. It depends on how far you're in it. If you're in it and not very far, yeah, definitely go with multiple Orboros over getting rid of everything. It's just... I play like this because I played before the shop update, and so the shop update makes it for you can now discard or get rid of stuff. And we just got duplication potion, which is going to be very, very crazy for this build. Yeah, I. Uh, it is really dependent on how you want to play, though. You can make both of the ways work. If you get unlucky though, and don't get a reload, then, or reload relics, then you kind of screwed. But it's highly unlikely that will happen. Normally you actually see at least one reload relics. 
one reload relic in a run. It's just, I don't really, I forget to discard stuff. And so doing a reload build, it's not my favorite type of build. It's like, it's okay. It's a good build. Yeah, definitely, definitely go with reload build if you can make it work. But it's not my preferred build. Fair. You really need round guard in addition to something like the ball or cheese. Round guard and cheese, yeah, you could do that. And then you can get infinite scaling that way. <laughs> That's uh, pretty much the best strategy. But with the wall, it would be still bad. Unless you have Orbros, like you said. It would be good that way. Man, I hate... I hate gift sometimes. Gift just makes it for you really, really can't get to refreshes sometimes. Uh, let's go heal. Brown guard, yeah. Like the ball. Oh, bell. The bell, not ball. Bell. Why am I reading it ball? Yeah, bell's really good, too. It's just, I've never done bell correctly. I've never had a build that actually really, really worked very well with bell. Bell's cool. It's a cool relic. It's just, it's the one that I use the least because I don't, I don't really do many reload builds. The last reload build I did was the round guard cheese build, which I got rid of all my orbs and I didn't have any orbs then. And now I had the Blissa boss, so I was fine on getting past the castle. Or maybe I had the wall and I killed the wall. Yeah, I think I killed the wall and then I got rid of the last. I had an Orboros and then I got rid of the last Orboros and then had no relic or orbs after that and I won. But if you try doing that in the beginning, like if you get rid of all your stuff in the beginning in the forest, and then it turns out the wall is your enemy in the castle, then you have to grab a orb because you can't kill it with the round guard cheese build. It just has too much damage. You mean that the muscle on, ra on reload? Too muscle on reload? Yeah. That is good about the bell. The bell is really good about that. I never, I just never really do that. Like, you get... Or is that a different relic? I don't know all the relics by name or what all the abilities are. Like, I know most of them, but I don't really remember the ones I don't often use. And so, that one's... Like, the bell one, I know that it does either... The one effect that gives you plus one for just regular, or it gives you plus one for the other way around. And so, I think you're talking about a different relic. And I don't, I don't really do too many reload builds, like I said. So I don't really know the names for them. And we'll go with that. We'll go Glorious Suffering. My type of builds are more damage focus or uh, stacking up damage. like this. Glorious Suffering is really, really good. <laughs> uh, Polterpgeist was really good too, but not in the cave. Like, the cave for Poltergeist is kind of awful, but it is the best, for, in my opinion, for AoE or relics or orbs. 
Why am I saying relics? I wish that there was a relic that did make it for all your orbs that kind of do what Poltergeist does, but that would be OP. That would be too OP. <laughs> Just, just think about that. If every orb had Poltergeist's effect, oh my god. There would be times that it would be really hard to win too because of the black holes and stuff. <laughs> but it would be fun. I bet, I bet that's a modded relic. I never got that one, if that is a modded one. It's just, the mods are not working right now. Mods are definitely not working, and that sucks. We're going to beat the cave now. Sadly, last time, I just made one careless mistake, and that cost me a run. And then, we'll heal up, go here. Careless mistakes can cost you runs. That sucks. But I've I've died multiple ways in Peglin. And every single time you die, it's a learning experience when you die sometimes. Sometimes it's hard because you die and you pretty much kill the boss. But you die at the same time. That that one's hard. That one's a hard one. I've done that before. I killed the final boss and died at the same time. Or the final boss lived with one health. All both of those situations is rough. It's a rough situation, Matt. Alright, we'll go here, get that, and then do tons of damage. We'll just kill all those, and we'll do that, and we win. This fight, on to the next fight, and we'll go here. If I didn't take one, though, I definitely would have won last time. Two. There's just a lot of stuff that happened last run that I did that I can reflect on. I wanted to make it harder on myself. And so I did. I could have won. It's just I didn't win because I carelessly made one mistake. I got very, very close to winning. Even after making that careless mistake. But, sadly, the W did not come. Crucible 10 does step up the game. They used to be... Crucible 10 used to be the old Crucible 7. Which... I struggled with the most when I first got there. Now, now it's fine. Like, I can easily beat higher crucibles if I put my mind to it like I don't I play Peglin for fun right now especially because the new update I'm going to be playing it for like more serious a lot more serious there I'm going to play it more seriously the next time like these challenges are just like fun little challenges I'm not going to stress out too much if I die, I die. It's not it's not the end of the world. But if I win, definitely that's cool. Come on. It's just it shows whenever I die with one of these like OP builds that you would say like, oh that's an OP build. It shows that if you can make one mistake or make multiple mistakes, you can easily just screw yourself over. Or sometimes it, it's just not in your favor of the game. And that you can even with a really good build, you can lose. If the cards do not go in your play. I don't know how that saying goes, but... 
Yeah. If you don't play correctly, then it's going to be bad, pretty much. Or RNG screws you over. That's also a thing. Alright. Go here, heal up, and then we can get Branch of Ember now. But do I really want Branch of Ember? It's not going to help. I want it, but I don't want it. Like, I want it, I, I just don't want it. It's a juggle right there. Nearby pegs when detonated. That's pretty good. Let's go with that. And then... Let's go over here. See, gift just makes it for, like... It delays stuff. Makes it for it goes longer, too. Which I kind of don't like. And then... That's why I kind of avoid gift. Because gift is just... I, I don't like it too much. It's not my favorite relic. It's good. But it can also be a curse. Like, I don't have to worry about it being a curse right now because I have duplication potion and the one that moving the refresh around. So I'm constantly getting more refreshes and then my crits also refresh. So I'm definitely fine right now. And then we can do that. And we'll just try to kill this. We'll definitely try to kill this. I don't know why it's not going to die right now. Why do you go into that corner? It's just how it falls. I don't know. Come on. Not go into the left corner. Yes, it went into the right corner. It's just RNG sometimes too. There's a lot of RNG in this game. There is skill, too. There is skill. It is skill based. And higher curse bulls. Alright, so activating multiple crits. Nice. Critomote fleece. We'll grab that. That is definitely a good relic. And then we can go with this and didn't do too much damage, sadly. That's okay. Hmm. Yeah, now I'm getting kind of worried. I need to do more damage. <laughs> ah, come on. I don't have any healing too. So I have to buy healing. That's also really sucky. Christmas fleece is awesome, especially with a reload, refresh build. But I don't have like multiple crits. If I had more ways to get more crits, then I'd be even better off right now. Uh, let's go with this. And then, come on, give me something good. It's a chip. What do I want to do? Do I want to take the chip? I'll take the chip. Why not? Chip is also kind of awful sometimes. Because you can land in the fire. Or you can land in ones which do nothing except for just regular damage. <laughs> I like the twos. I want the twos. In modded, it also goes up to like a hundred, but it gives you four zeros if it goes up to a hundred. Nice two, double damage. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We got a lot of damage off of on that one, and then yeah, I'll just heal up. Even though it's not a lot of health, it's that little bit of health is actually still helpful than not healing. And now we just play the waiting game. Oh, 
a drop down. If I had Bold Orb, then I can like almost soft lock the game. It, it's not going to soft lock it, but it almost does sometimes. Especially if you have a refresh on the top. Then it keeps on playing the refresh on the top. Uh, makes it even worse. Okay, so let's go. And we're doing tons of damage. You can drop down now. Oh, well, we're going to do half the damage. Oh, no. Maybe we're going to do double. No, half. All right. That's still fine. I'm doing massive damage, so. All right. And double damage, please. Double damage. Double damage. Nice. And we did 4,000 damage. It was a seriously lot of damage. How many shots do I need to kill this? Let's see. Oh, we got the Echo Orb first. Do I want to throw out the Echo Orb? I don't think it's going to do anything. I don't have any ways to stack. Well, I do. But it's still, it's still not going to help. Uh, the Echo Orb. Oh, I had to I had to get rid of it. Oh, that shot was horrible too. Hmm. Well, I'm probably never going to see that echo orb again. And I don't know why these shots are just... All right. Come on. Do better. What are you doing, shots? All right, we gotta get the refresh and crit. Crit, a crit refresh, let's go. Nice, we just got a bunch of damage off. And now we're taking still hits, but we should be able to hit another crit, probably, if I get into that one. All right, throw, all right. Come on, crit, 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 yes. Let's go. And we did double damage. All right, Echo Chamber is already doing tons of damage too. We're going to wipe the floor with this one already. We're already doing 8,000 damage. All right, let's go. Well, we beat that one. That was easy. That was an easy challenge, but it was still a fun challenge. I definitely liked it a lot. If you do like this video, like it, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.